As early voting starts this Thursday, North Carolina's Senate race is basically neck and neck at this point. According to the political blog 538, they average all the polls across the state and they found that Republican Ted Budd is up by a little more than two points. That's basically within the margin of error, meaning every single vote is going to count. w 22s Ariel Cadet looks at the push to get young minority voters to the poll. I think it's important for people of color to get out and vote is because for a very long time, our voices aren't being heard as opposed to our peers are. Thaddeus Stewart and other students on North Carolina A&T's campus are making it their mission to convince students to get out to the polls. It's important to get the right because if we want to see the change in office, if we want things to be equal and fair as it should be, we need to get out and vote. Stewart is part of Common Cause North Carolina, a nonpartisan group that works to empower North Carolina students at HBCUs to vote. According to data from Tufts University, 43% of black students turned out to the polls in 2020. That's compared to 61% of white students. Students I spoke with on campus want to close that gap. Voting for us is a great way for us to not feel underrepresented as minorities at an HBCU. It's important because minorities didn't always have the power to vote, that's one. Secondly, um, you, when you go to an HBCU, you finally get the, um, the chance to be a part of a majority. Our whole life outside of HBCU, we will be a minority. So it's so important that we get this experience. And even students that weren't so sure or didn't have plans to vote in November were influenced by peers or professors to register. Walking through the stew one day and I just saw that it was like a booth there and there was uh, people allowing, like giving out like the flyers and stuff to register. And I was like, I had just turned 18, so I was like, why not? Common Cause is hosting a bus to the polls event Friday on campus. It's a block party with music, games and food. And after the festivities, students can hop on the bus to vote afterwards.